Now, the state police have confirmed the successful rescue of 20 medical students and a house officer who were abducted in Otupo local government area of Benue State eight days ago while en route to the Federation of Catholic Medical and Dental Students annual convention in Enugu. Earlier, the state police public relations officer, S.P. Sewese Anene, had issued a press release to the local media in Makodi before the confirmation from the police headquarters in Abuja. Now, plus, Stephen Hughes has learned that the operation was coordinated by the Office of the National Security Advisor, involving a combined team of security operatives, including the police, the DSS, and military personnel, with the cooperation of the Benue state government. The victims were rescued unharmed and have since been taken to Abuja for medical treatment. Now, the governor, Reverend Father Hyacinth Ali, attributed the release of the 20 medical students to the joint efforts of local and national security agencies. A fine Nigerian ladies and young men who were kidnapped, those who are coming in from Meduguri and then just heading towards um, Enugu with their own conference and then were intercepted. In fact, were kidnapped have all been released. I'm dependably informed that by 9.50 p.m. this evening, um, uh, the release had happened. Four female, 16 males, through the instrumentality of the Joint Task Force the office of the NSA, the Inspector General of Police, with our team back home here, the Police Commissioner, um, uh, the DSS, uh, the Operation Zinda, um, everybody, the Army, the local vigilantes in Utuko local government had also assisted to ensuring that uh, these fine young uh, medical doctors um, uh, the medical students were released. We remain very grateful to the federal government for coming to our support and assistance to ensuring that no life was lost. Um, and nothing uh, that could have constituted bad news had happened. Our correspondent Francis Ter visited the family of a freed, previously abducted medical student, Don Othaga, and his wife Cecilia. They expressed gratitude to the federal government, the National Security Advisor, the Yami, police, DSS, and others for rescuing their child. He told me that uh, his legs are swollen, that they suffered, that it rained in the bush. If it is raining, it will be raining on them, that his legs, it work, the whole legs are swollen. So I'm grateful to God and to the um, federal government. Okay, thank you. I heard from him, he rang us in the morning, uh, that uh, he then were happy with, so through the mother. Then we were shouting, shouting. This morning he called us again that they are heading to Abuja. They are taking them to Abuja. I am Hello, very brothers. happy to go to my by rescuing them and also to the state government and federal government and the general public to hearing to helping us in prayers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.